Oof. Ooh. I like the combo. Yep, that would do it. If you're just on the defensive, then eventually your reaction speed is not gonna keep up with their action. They're gonna get a blow through. Oh, spin kills me. Yep. Hurts my heart every time. Here's my kidneys. Please you, stab me. Please stab me in the back. Hello there, my name is Andrew Hall. I'm a HEMA practitioner and I've been practicing HEMA since 2013. I practice primarily longsword and I use both the Italian and the German system. I'm Paul Suda, also HEMA practitioner. Uh, unfrocked Medieval Times mm -hmm. Knight and uh, one-time professional jouster. I started with the German system and then I've switched since 2007 to the Italian system. And today we're gonna be taking a look at gameplay footage from For Honor. Let's see what they got. Yeah, I want to see the, the gladiator fight the, the samurai. <laughs> see what happens. Yeah, using the shield as a weapon, completely viable. They're way too close, though. They're, they're too close, and the guy with the two-handed sword is, the, the Highlander is not using that weapon to keep his opponent far away. I mean, you yeah. can't just hang out in, in, in a yeah. pointed guard. I mean, there, there's a way of using weapons like that. The Zweihanda, the Claymore, that is an it. Oof. Ooh. I like the combo. Yep, that would do it. The moves are exaggerated a bit, but not bad. Oh, that's cool, yeah. doing the, the throw. The Highlander really needs, he has the longer weapon. If he wants a chance of winning, he needs to be using his range. Yeah. That means moving your feet and taking advantage of the fact that you have far superior reach to that knight. Oh, spin kills me, hurts yeah. my heart every time. You wouldn't like say, here's my gut, please stab me, any more than you would say, here's my kidneys, please you, stab me. Please stab me in the back. I would say the one instance in which moving around someone is reasonable is if your back is against their back, and you can feel what's happening and not have to see what's happening. That's reasonable. The spinning into jumping. Spinning, very good way to die. Jumping, also a good way to die. From a video game design perspective, from a TV movie perspective, spinning, especially with costume and cape that flows in the wind, looks great. Function-wise, it just, the only function is the aesthetic. I wouldn't do it in a fight, not if I had any other choice. That's pretty good. And, ooh. Yeah, that's fun. There's that head. The grab's kind of cool too, but I think the trouble that I'm having is that that how they get to the grab. It's like yep. he's just running in and grabbing. It's like no, no, no. You gotta like clank, clank, yep. lock up, then grab. Yep. The thing that this seems to be hard, or maybe the game is making this difficult, but like the guy with the sword and shield needs to be constantly stepping offline and staying far away, and the guy with the long sword needs to be swinging it almost constantly to keep the distance open. You These let are... the guy with sword and shield get within your reach, and you're in serious yeah. trouble. Okay. Yep. A ja uh, medieval knight versus a Japanese a warrior. This a, a okay. Dachi? Looks That's, like yeah. Looks yeah. like a Nodachi. It's a big, big sword. Well, at least again, they're, they're kind of yeah. comparable weapons. But they don't have to be that close. Spinning again with the spinning. Not a fan with the spinning. From the Italian standpoint, that guard that the uh, Japanese warrior is in is similar to woman's guard. It's hard to have nitpicks with like competent Kenjutsu fighters because they're training from a battlefield mm -hmm. tradition that hasn't been broken. And That's pretty cool. Half sword in, I turn around to control I, the limb and thrust into the chest. And then using the half sword to, to, to move in. Yes. It's like locking up and then yeah. moving in. Especially because they're both wearing armor. That was kind of cool, that little check he did. Yeah. But again, doing the check first as the opener as opposed to creating an opening, mm -hmm. very dangerous. Not not realistic. I don't mind like strikes, you know, armor strikes, grabs, throws, and checks. Again, you can off balance somebody. But the trouble that I had with the way it's done here is they're opening with the body check. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm running at you, please cut off my arm. Please stab me. It's like, no, no, like you have to open with something, then body check, and then finish. Controlling the distance and controlling the speed, those are vital parts of any fight. Three to six inches is the difference between- Getting hit and not getting hit. Yes, not to mention getting stabbed. Three to six inches makes a huge difference. Yeah, three to six inches is from your skin through your heart. There's a reason, California, you're not allowed to carry a blade lar larger than three half inches. That's because at that point, if you stab someone, you're now going past their skin, past their ribs, into their vital organs. Nah, uh, the jumping. Yeah, as jumping, come on, Kenjutsu It's cinematic, guy. but it's not oh, needed. You don't need to jump. With the jumping. Yep. That was an interesting one. He just attacked him not caring about where his weapon is. That's very there was, dangerous. I wish there was a more complicated way of, of, or like different ways that they parry each other. That'd be interesting to watch. Yes. Little hang in. There we go. Sidestep. That's good, good sidestep. That is yeah. why you sidestep. Yeah, to like avoid I'm, their weapon and keep them in your range. I feel like the Western fencer is using a lot of thrusting guards for a weapon he's not thrusting with. That's a little annoying. That's true. And again, they're still too close. Yeah, there's no reason to attack from way outside of that range. 
that's just wasted movement, wasted energy. At this point, you wanna be parrying and either moving back, moving to the side to create some space. If you're just on the defensive, then eventually your reaction speed is not gonna keep up with their action. They're gonna get a blow through. There you go. See, that's proper use of range. You look yeah. like you're from outside of range, you step in and the blade leaves in front. Me personally, I have a couple different cuts and combinations I like. I found that after starting from, say, Vom Tog or what the Italians would call Woman's Guard, striking out at them, they parry, usually give some sort of uh, attack to my upper openings. I'll parry in return, and then while stepping on to one side or the other from a hangin, or from what they would call one to call ox or window guard, you strike low to their belly. You can basically rip their guts out, right? Yeah. You can come from below, because their, their sword is here, yours is here, and you're basically going, and you have to use your feet to not get hit, right? Using your feet to not get hit, and striking where their sword and arms are not. There's a lot of two dead guys happening here, <laughs> both attacking at the same time and not defending yeah, each we call, themselves. We, yep, there's something for that in Hema, we call it doubles, we boo it. Rule one of any fight, survive, meaning don't get hit. There we go, some parrying happening. This is a good volley, good little exchange. Ooh. It, it certainly looks epic, but you don't need that much wind up. I don't really mind the wind up stuff because again, it's a cue for the other player to react. That's stuff I can kind of live with. But well, again, I, maybe just because in Hema we're used to fighting against other humans, we're used to having maybe half a second to react at most. Sword and shield against a single sword. Your centurion is definitely at a disadvantage. That shield, especially with with a short blade weapon like that, is a huge benefit. Oh, no, with, oh, the reverse grip. There, uh, reverse grip has to just go away forever. No more of this holding it. It looks fancy, but that's all it is. It's like, would I hold a gun the wrong way? No, <laughs> like, don't hold the sword the wrong way. Yeah, the reverse grip is kind of there with the gangster grip for the gun. I mean, I get the style. It's again, he's sort of like driving with the shield and then using that for the opening. And that, I mean, that honestly is how you would use a shield. That is how, how you use a buckler as well. But the trouble is like, he's doing that drive with the shield. His opponent should stab him while he's doing that. I don't know if it's mechanics or what, but that's not happening. Yep, yeah, another jump. And yeah. thank you for sacrificing your footing to me. Yeah, I'm super unimpressed with what they did with the Centurion. When you jump up like that, you just beg to be parried and then grabbed. If you're ballistic, then you're you a have known, no you're, control over your body. Yeah, you're a known quantity. They can just react to the thing that you're doing. You wouldn't open up with the kick. That's a really good way to have someone just cut at your leg. And again with the reverse blade. Yeah, I've checked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope uh, some of you have been curious enough to come uh, seek us out or join other HEMA clubs in whatever area you live in. Yeah, if you had fun and liked these videos, uh, subscribe to Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks, folks. See you next time. Cheers. Project. I fight, I fight primarily with longsword and crap. One more time. It's okay, man. Yeah. Go again. One more time. Fight me. <laughs> later. Yeah, yeah, later. I'm <laughs> it.